Um, okay, I want to move on to another question here. Uh, my son has a tendency to pick his nose with his indexes many times during an hour. How can we help to make him stop uh, besides telling him to stop? You have to think about the function. This is where you need your BCBA to help you figure out the function. Is he doing it for attention? Is he doing it because something's stuck up there? Is he doing it because it feels good now? Or, you know, maybe after the fact, if something's stuck there that they have to get out. Um, there's a, so this is where I would say you want to do a functional assessment to figure out what it is. Sometimes um, what it might have, it always happens like after the cold season where there's a lot of drippy noses and a lot of kids will start picking their noses. And then it's just, and then it turns into a habit and you let it go too long. So if it's turning into a habit, um, that's a different way of targeting it because it's giving him other things to do with his finger. But the thing is, if there is something like, if he is a congested kid, if he's a kid that just has lots of sinus issues, I would say this is where you're gonna go to your doctor and see how you can clean out his sinus system so that whatever's there isn't bothering him anymore. And sometimes it's the use of nasal sprays, which I hate, but they're effective. And your kid might hate it at the beginning, but it might be worth it, work with your BCBA to learn how to use it, learn how to clean out his system. And so that it removes the need to wanna to pick his nose. Because a lot of time, we see this a lot post winter, post cold season. The kids all like start um, picking their noses, but then once that season's over and they stop being so drippy and everything, a lot of times it does stop. So I would go in and see like, what is the need that he's having? You know, has it turned into habit already or is it, is it just really bothering him? Yeah. And take care of that. But I think, you know, I hope people realize that sometimes when you guys write in a question and, and our experts say to you, well, we need to know what the function of the behavior is. Um, and I think sometimes you guys are like, oh, that doesn't help me. But, but he, I want you to understand why she's saying that. Because if he's doing it, let's say he's doing it because he's bored and he doesn't have anything else to do and you give him a nasal spray, that's not gonna help. <laughs> it's, just, it's not gonna, you're, you're gonna now have medicated him and he's still gonna be bored and he's still gonna stick his finger up there. If he's doing it because um, uh, he, he wants to get your attention and have you go stop that, don't put your finger up your nose, then the nasal spray isn't gonna help either. <laughs> right. So, but the, 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 the truth is, is the reason why our experts say know what the function is, because if they know what the function is, then there is an intervention that will be effective at, and some take more time than other, but there will be something that's effective. But if you dink around with the wrong one, you're just going to make it worse. That's why you need to know what the function is. It's like, you know, you're going to go in and fix something, but first you have to know what it is that you're fixing. Does that make sense? I hope people get it. It's not just a, you know, a phrase, well, we need to know what the function of the behavior is. It's like, well, if we know what's going on, then we'll know what to do to intervene. And there are many different things that would intervene. It just, it's just, you've got to pick the, pick the right intervention to go with the right thing that's going on. Um, so I hope everybody gets that. Did I, tell me if I said anything that wasn't true, Evelyn. <laughs> no, nope. everything you said was true. You just, oh. you really want to find out a lot of times just teaching them how to use a Kleenex though actually works too. Um, but the thing is, if you're gonna teach it, it's, your, fing your finger's always with you, a, a Kleenex is not. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna teach him how to use a Kleenex, you have to be next to him all the time with a box of Kleenex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that every opportunity is using the Kleenex. There you go. Thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.